Welcome back to Kinetic Energy 1085. Testing out the Ruger LCP-22 today. First time shooting it. <clears throat> Got this uh, lady behind the counter that sold it to me, said to use this Aguila high velocity ammunition for this handgun. Again, we're talking about a 22, so lots of uh, fails to feeds and fails to uh, fail to feed, fail to eject for 22s. They have cycling issues. I've seen some videos where it functions fine, some videos where it's one problem after another. We're gonna find out. So I did get the Aguila ammunition. Got my target board set up here. Gonna put some new targets on. And then now you all can see this opening shots for this handgun, see if you wanna get one or not. Stand by. So this is Aguila. 22 caliber 30 grain they are claiming 1700 feet per second but of course that's out of I believe an 18 inch barrel from a rifle again this uh, Ruger LCP2 is like a two inch barrel they're not gonna come out that fast when we chronograph this because I had to chronograph everything as you know so then also you're gonna be finding out whether this gun functions or not, if you want to buy it, you're also going to see how this ammunition functions and if what its speed is. So you're getting a couple in one. First thing I want to just bring up to everyone's attention, just because I like to bring in some educational things once in a while. Uh, let's see. Death by gun. Uh, year 2020. 54% were suicide. I got my contact in, so it's kind of hard to see. 43% were murder, 3% were other. So 54% was suicide. Take out that 54%. Of course, you have murder. I want to mention one more thing. Who murders people? I'm a law-abiding gun owner. I have something to live for. I have a family. I have a great job, nice house, good future. Why am I going to go murder someone? I'm not. I have I have a livelihood. I'm a law-abiding citizen, but I've owned guns for a long time. Never once have I used them in a fit of rage. I've never brandished one to someone. So again, we're talking about murder. Who murders people? Criminals. Do criminals care about gun laws? No, of course they don't. This goes back to all that garbage about more gun control. For Pete's sake, you're. We we all know where this discussion's going. But you know what? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't know why our government hates us so much and wants to take our guns away. Because I know every single one of you watching this, you're probably a law-abiding gun owner yourself. And you have no intentions of going out and committing a crime with your guns or murdering people. How about we lock people up? How about we get to the root cause, which is probably childhood bullying on why these people are out murdering people anyway. And then let's lock people up and give them treatment while they're in there cognitive treatment, whatever the case is. Stop taking it out on the law-abiding citizens. I'm also going to be chronographing Winchester White Box 40 Smith & Wesson, 180 grain. You buy this ammo, we're gonna chronograph that too. You'll get some insight to that. I had to, I brought out Underwood 10 millimeter, 180 grain XTP jacketed hollow point. Uh, I believe that means extreme terminal. Oh, man, I messed that up. I totally messed it up. But they are claiming from 180 grain bullet to go 1,300 feet per second. I just, I just want to test a couple. Because then if you guys want to buy some Underwood ammo, uh, you'll see how true these are to their advertised velocities. I want to talk about one more thing before we get into this. Now, of course, it's YouTube. I got to be careful what I say and who I trigger. But sometimes at night when everyone's asleep, I like watching YouTube videos and, um, you know, YouTube takes you into places. So naturally, here I am just YouTubing videos on guns, ammunition. It brings you to stories. Uh, one of the ones I watched last night was use your brains, read between the lines. It was a video of a police encounter with the usual demographics that the news likes to report on that they say is a big problem in this country. So, just imagine the, uh, the officer's demographics, the uh, two people's 
um, I'm not gonna call them suspects because they weren't, uh, the individuals. So I want to tell you what I saw. So this video shows this officer pulling up to a car in, in the middle of an abandoned parking lot at night with these two um, individuals in the car. First thing he asks is how many guns are in the car? And they say, oh, like three or four. And he's like, uh, okay, what are you guys doing here? And they're just, I forgot what they said, but anyway. So they just start talking to the officer. The officer's talking to them and he's like, well, he looks at their weapons and guess what they had? They had an AR-15, an AK-47, and, and something else, I forgot. And they were, they were rifles, they were loaded, they were chambered, and they were off safe. It became a discussion. You know why it became a discussion? Because nobody flipped out and nobody got stupid. So, unfortunately, they did have to have their car towed because they had a uh, suspended registration. But now, that's one of those typical situations, if you think about what I told you about everyone's demographics, it's that typical situation that everyone says always goes bad because cops are bad people. That would be the perfect opportunity to have that situation go bad. But do you know why it did not go bad? Because the people that were approached by the officer didn't flip out, they didn't do anything stupid, and all's well ends well. He said, look guys, I don't think it's safe carrying these things chambered and off safe, but I have to tow your cars or someone that can pick up your guns. Some lady comes, I don't know, friend or old enough to be a mom, and she took possession of these firearms and everybody went on their merry way. Think about that for a second. Personal accountability plays a big factor. I'm hoping the chronograph works today with the uh, sunlight. These shades kind of provide some kind of shade for those sensor eyes right there. But I've heard they like a certain kind of light. And I guess uh, there's no clouds today. Hopefully this thing works all right to get some good readings. Look what else I brought today. Yeah, two green tip. One of them is going to be fired through the chronograph just to get some readings. It's a 62 grain. And guess what we're doing with the other one? I know. I said I wouldn't do it, but I, I just have to know. I just have to know if this is that high density AR something steel. You know, again, these are not considered armor piercing but they have a steel core on the inside that is a extreme penetrator, even through steel plates. I've seen plenty of videos. So yeah, this will be a fun one. All right, so there's about a minute and a half left until I can start pulling the trigger. Uh, I take this guy seriously that owns this place, kicks people out a lot for violating his rules. And on Sunday, the first shot does not get fired before noon. He's here today, I said hi to him, but just so everyone knows, uh, I follow rules. So the chronograph's on. The Ruger LCP2 is right here. I put some lube on it, um, which is ballast all. I know it's also a cleaner as well, but not for AR-15s, I'll tell you that. So let's have a look, see. One more minute. So I'm gonna chronograph it and see how it functions. 10 rounds in the first mag. You know, just got to see. Let's see how this thing performs. Okay, everybody, here we go. Ah, I'm hoping it'll be fine. But, let's see. Safety is off. First shot through the chronograph. 1067. 1103 1105 1127 1105 error well does it clear itself or not
I'm just going to reset it manually then. Error. That's it for that magazine. So it ran fine. Let's see how it continues. You know, part of what this thing says is shadows mess with it. So I don't know. I'm going to tip it a little bit and we'll try it again. I'm going to put another magazine through it and we'll see what we come up with now. There's your first 10 shots off this gun. Now, just so you know, this thing's been given its option to fail to cycle. One, it's brand new. And two, it's a 10 round magazine and I had it loaded to capacity. So usually magazines, they're funny uh, on a full magazine. I don't know, that's just my experience. Maybe you all as well. So the first magazine functioned flawlessly, uh, given two opportunities to uh, fail, to feed or eject. Gonna do one more chronograph test of this. You all saw some pretty good um, results on that first magazine from a two inch barrel. Cause that 1700 feet per second is for rifles. So let's do it again. 1127. 1105. 1115. 1100. 1150. 1198, 1126, 1115, 1136, 1135. That's good. That's really good. Second magazine function fine. Now we're going to do some target practice with it. All right. Accuracy test. Brand new target. I'm gonna stand the usual. I'm just gonna stand, I'm gonna try 15 feet away first. No, I'm not measuring what a stick, but I'm not going back. I know what six feet is. I know about what 12 feet is. So yeah, I'm gonna go back about 15 feet. And this has non-adjustable sights. So let's see how they are. Ready? Center mass. Know what I like this gun I do it's three magazines so far no failures from 15 feet away with a two inch barrel well here you go that's pretty good all right we're gonna do the ding play just to see how it makes it move I'm just gonna be about eight ten feet away just want to see what it looks like. No, I'm going to do 15 feet. I'm 15 feet away. Let me go back a little further. Yep. Not bad. I had one fail to feed. Um, not too worried about that right now. That looked pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna do some uh, headshots. 15 feet again. Now I'm gonna go 25.
That was 25 feet away. Basically, the sight needs to be here to hit here. Uh, some bullets do jump. So I figured that out after the second shot. I'm aiming right here. The rounds are hitting here, but I, I was 25 feet away. This is a small target from 25 feet away. Couldn't tell if it was running, it's so bright. All right, it wouldn't be right to not do a rapid test on this thing, right? So I'm just gonna get it in here. I don't wanna embarrass myself, but now we have to give it the rapid test. One fail to feed. So in 50 rounds, it had two fails to feed. Not bad, but I'm gonna go put some oil on it. 100 rounds were fired through the Ruger LCP2 22 long rifle. Only four fail to feed, fail to ejects. Accurate. I like it. Semper Fi. Yep.